Hey everyone, with the weather getting a bit chillier in New York City, I'll be making some galbi tang or beef short rib soup for this week. Now it's a clear broth that's packed full of beefy flavor without weighing you down, which is perfect for this weather. So let's get started. So normally most galbi tang videos tend not to brine their short ribs. And many times that I had it in restaurants, the inside is never really seasoned due to this. So what I'm gonna try to do is cut up my short ribs into smaller manageable size pieces, then dry brine them for 30 minutes. I'm just gonna add salt to both sides and then let it sit. Once the time has passed, we'll soak these short ribs in some water as we want the blood to come out of the meat. This will cloud up our soup and we want it to be clear and clean. I did it for two hours, but you can always do this overnight. While the short ribs are soaking, let's prep the vegetables that we'll be placing inside our broth later. Here, I have a daikon radish. Normally, you would use the Korean version, but I only have Chinese supermarkets by me, so this will do. I'll peel the skin off, and I'm just gonna cut it up into four chunks. Don't worry about cutting it smaller, as we're just gonna do this after we simmer this in the broth. I'm also gonna cut up some spring onions and regular white onions as well. Back to our soaked short ribs. As you can see, the water turned red from all the blood. Now we'll empty out the water and short ribs into a strainer. Then place back the short ribs into the pot while filling up the pot again with water to cover the short ribs. Place this back on some heat and we're gonna bring this up to a boil and blanch our short ribs. Blanching your short ribs means placing it and boiling it a bit so the scum will rise to the top and we'll scoop this off so it keeps our broth nice and clear. We're gonna keep this boiling for five minutes. After five minutes have passed, remove it off the heat and we'll strain all the short ribs in liquid. Start to rinse off and clean off any remaining scum from the short ribs before putting it back in the pot. We'll also clean out the pot we used to boil the short ribs as the bottom will usually have some leftover scum. I have some dashi that I prepare ahead of time that I'll pour into my pot to cover up the short ribs. Normally, in most of the galbi tang videos I see, many chefs just use water, so I always wonder, why not dashi? Dashi is a light stock that is used mostly in Japanese cooking. It's clear, but packed full of umami. Koreans actually use something similar with kombu, but instead of katsuboshi, they use dried fish, fairly similar to niboshi. I didn't have any at the time, so I just opted for the Japanese dashi instead. I'll also place in my daikon. We'll bring this up to a boil again, and then reduce this to a simmer. I didn't see any leftover scum at the time, so I just placed my onions and spring onions as well. Let this simmer now on the for one hour. The majority of the labor for making gabi tang is just cleaning the bones and meat and the waiting time for simmering the soup. After an hour has passed, let's check on the daikon radish. If it's easy to poke through, it's ready and we'll take it out of the simmering stock pot as we don't want the daikon to turn into mush. Reserve it to the side and when it's cooled down, cover it in plastic wrap and stick it in the fridge. You don't have to do this step if you're gonna eat it the same day, but I prefer it and I'll explain why later. We'll continue to simmer the short ribs for another 30 minutes to one hour. When the time has passed, fish out a short rib and poke it with a fork to see if it's tender enough. If it easily goes through, we're finished simmering. I'll proceed to fish out the green onions and white onions and begin to transfer the short ribs to another pot. I do this because my mom's always afraid this heavy Dutch oven's gonna break the fridge shelves. So hey, Sir Crib, I just follow her rules. Another reason I'll leave it in the fridge after it cools down a bit is because I want the fat to turn solid the next day. Short ribs have a bunch of fat and it's gonna release when you're simmering them. Makes it a lot easier to skim off the fat once it's nice and cool. As you see from the next day, this fat has congealed and we'll scoop out most of it. You don't gotta take out everything as fat is flavor, so it's up to your discretion. I'll start heating up this pot to serve, and I actually forgot to place some garlic during the simmering process, so I just smashed some garlic right now and just left it in the pot as it's coming up to a boil. Better late than never. While it's coming up to a boil, we'll grab our daikon radish and cut it up into small chunks, and when the pot is almost at a boil, we can place all the daikon back in. We'll also start to do our final seasoning with a bit of soy sauce, and we don't want too much as it'll turn the soup dark. For the last bit of seasoning, just use regular salt and it should be sufficient enough. To serve, just scoop some of the soup along with the radish and short ribs. Top it off with some scallions. I'll be eating this with some white rice, kimchi, and an assortment of other banchans I made that night. If you're ever feeling like you want a heartwarming soup to eat, give Gabi Tang a try. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe and follow my Instagram at WeCanCooks. 
Thanks for the support.